Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be one of those very special videos because I'm going to be helping out the whole community on how to quote hack Snapchat and get Phantom for Snapchat, but an alternative, but basically does the exact same thing and a little bit more. So with that being said, let's get straight into this tutorial. Alright, so one of the first things you guys want to do is you guys want to go and head over to the link that's in the description below. That's going to be bringing you to the GitHub page to get Tweak Patcher. Once here, you guys can go ahead and scroll down and then click on download Tweak Patcher right here. Now, once you guys have that, go ahead and bring it to your desktop. It'll be a .zip file and then go ahead and unzip it to get Tweak Patcher Master. Also forgot to mention, this is only available for Mac because we will be needing Xcode. Now the next thing I did provide in the description is a decrypted IPA for Snapchat. Now this is what is called a cracked app and it will be available on my mega account. So go ahead and download that. And if there is any problem with downloading, go ahead and leave it in the comments and I'll see and I'll try to fix it as soon as possible. So once you guys have Tweak Patcher as well as the IPA, you guys are now good to go. So go ahead and rename the IPA to anything that's easy to know. And I'm gonna change Snapchat into SC for Snapchat. Now the next thing you want to do is you guys want to open up the tweak patcher folder and you guys will see tweakpatcher.sh. Now from here go ahead and drag that window and you want to drag the snapchat IPA inside of here. And we're going to be good to go so go ahead and close that window and let's open up a terminal now. So the next thing we want to do is we want to cd to where tweak patcher is at so we want to type cd space and then we can go ahead and drag this folder inside and looking a little closer we see that there is a space or gap in front of master and all we want to do is just press delete to get back that one character now go ahead and press enter and you guys will see that it says tweak patcher master and we are cd to that location now the next step on what we were going to want to do is we want to go ahead and copy and paste what's in the description as the string and we want to go ahead and right click and go ahead and press paste you're going to notice that it says snap plus right here at the very end now this next step is very crucial. So if you don't remember what the IPA name is called, so in my case it's SC, go ahead and go in the folder and make sure you know what it is. So SC all caps dot IPA. So we wanna type the exact same thing. So we wanna go ahead and minimize this and in the terminal we wanna press space and then we're gonna type in what the IPA name was called. So in my case, I'm gonna put SC, that's in caps, dot IPA. Now the next step, all you guys wanna do is you guys wanna press enter. Now this might take a little bit longer than what I have done since I have already done this before, but in your case, it will be downloading the dependencies on what you need in order to inject it on your device. But the program will do everything that's needed. So you can go ahead and sit back and relax for a couple minutes until Tweak Patcher is done. So in my case, I had already connected my device in the start of this video, so it'll automatically detect my device. And if you guys haven't, you guys can go ahead and plug in your device right here and it'll go ahead and continue with the process. So once you do get to this portion, you will see that it says create a new project in Xcode with these exact details. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and launch up Xcode and we want to create a new Xcode project. Now, just like my side loading videos, you guys want to make sure it's on iOS and single viewed application and go ahead and press next. Now, this is the part where we're going to need to go ahead and copy and paste. So we're just moving this to the side. Product name is all this. So we want to go ahead and highlight all and then command C. And then we want to go ahead and press command V over here to paste it. Now on organization identifier, you guys want to do the exact same thing. So copy all of that and command C and right here where it says organization identifier. Now you guys want to go ahead and replace whatever that's in there. In my case, it's already the same. Now bringing this back in the view, it doesn't really matter on what's the rest. You can go ahead and copy if you guys want. And the next thing you guys want to do is press next. Now it's going to ask you where you want to save your project. So in my case, I'm just going to be organized and put it to my desktop in a new folder called Snapchat or SC and then hack. And I'm going to go ahead and press enter and create. And we're going to go ahead and press create on this window. Now the next step is you guys want to go ahead and wait for what Xcode is doing and go ahead and let it do its thing. But at the same time, you guys want to make sure you guys press fix issue. That's right under your team name. And there you go. It's all done. Now, in my case, I'm not on 9.3, so I'm going to go ahead and press 9.2. So let's go ahead and minimize the whole entire window and we will be welcome back into the terminal. And you guys can see that it now says it's unpacking the IPA and doing what the program is being told to do. Now, if it seems like your laptop is frozen or it's not doing anything, just make sure you look at the top right here and it will show that it is changing and doing its thing. 
Now I'm going to be opening up QuickTime and I'm going to be bringing it off to the side. So as you can see right there, Snapchat just appeared on my springboard. Now once that's done, we can go ahead and open up Snapchat. Now once Snapchat is loaded up, go ahead and log into whatever account you guys want. Now you know that it's working because you guys get this notification about a plus plus tweak. Now go ahead and press cancel if you guys want and I'm going to be signing in real quick. Now I am now logged in but it looks nothing different. Next what you want to do is you guys want to look inside your terminal. This is the part where I did not see it all. And now it will say you may need to trust your Apple ID and once Snapchat is open, press enter. So now on your laptop or your iMac, go ahead and press enter. All right, so now Snap Plus is now installed. Now all you guys want to do is you want to double tap, swipe over and delete Snapchat from your multitasking tray and open up Snapchat again. Wait a couple seconds and you guys will now see that you guys do now have Snap Plus. Now, basically it's all the same just like Phantom, but you guys can go ahead and mess around to see what kind of features this has. So for example, we have location faking, we have our own custom filters that we could do, and we can also upload our own photos in the bottom left hand corner, as well as put people in groups in the bottom right hand corner. So if you guys like this tutorial and it was easy to follow, go ahead and leave a like down below and also subscribe to get videos just like this in the future because I know you guys have been wanting a lot of tutorials and I've been leaving a whole bunch of feedback on when the new jailbreak is coming. So once the new jailbreak is coming, I will be doing a tutorial on that as well. And also in the future, I will be doing tweak reviews as more tweaks will be developed as the new iOS 9.x jailbreak is released. Also follow me on my Twitter page to get informed on what new jailbreak content or anything related to jailbreaking is going to be happening inside of the jailbreak community. Also go ahead and follow and give a like on my Facebook page so give it some love guys because I now started this page and I would like to see it grow just as much as my Twitter page. So I'll see you guys in my next video. This is Elite Apple Hacks signing out.